Hi, this is Amanda. Today I'm talking to Rahul Bose, Vihan Samart, and Suchitra Pillai, the cast of Eternally Confused and Eager for Love. So I have seen the trailer, and it has been getting a lot of good responses. So congratulations on that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so so Jitra, my first question is to you. Uh, you have done a lot of things in your career. You have you have been a VJ and RJ, and you have now you have done OTT as well. You were seen in Betal, Call My Agent, and you have done Best Seller. So, yep. what was the X factor about uh, uh, Eternally Confused that attracted you? Uh, the writing most definitely, Amanda. It was uh, the first thing that jumps out at you when you read re read the script, and we all, you all will see it on the screen. It's very real. It's what uh, could be happening in any household, uh, and especially to um, you know the present generation, somebody who's about 25 years old. It could definitely be happening to somebody who's 25 years old in in today's you know present day. Um, as far as uh, uh, you know, Mina's character, the, the mother's character is concerned, she was very real and uh, beautiful relationship with the son. Uh, nice, uh, you know, comedic uh, relationship with uh, with the husband, and just that the whole family thing just seemed really, really nice and tight. And it was an easy read, and it was a fun read, and you know, that's what really got me interested in saying, yeah, I definitely want to be part of it. Okay. So, um, Vihan, having an inner voice is quite common, but your inner voice is Jim Sub. Uh, like, Ray's inner voice is Jim Sub. So, uh, how, uh, what's the story behind Viz? What is the story behind his name and his look? Can you tell us about that? Um, Viz essentially is a part of Ray. Uh, it's his inner monologue. It's now just personified with a toy uh, to make it uh, more distinctive and to make it more relatable. Uh, and I feel like Everything that Wiz says at a certain level is Ray saying it to himself. But uh, now we have uh, Jim Serb, the lovely uh, artist, uh, the chaotic man who's decided to make uh, this huge character uh, that really like strikes a chord with a lot of viewers. I think it's just amazing. I think uh, it adds another layer to when you're watching something. You're not just watching a guy going through life being awkward. You're watching a guy going through life being awkward and you're understanding what he really means in everything he says or what he really thinks in every single conversation he has, which is a lovely layer to have. I think it's beautiful. And what's the story behind Wizard's name? Is it short for wizard? And I mean, what is it? Yeah, it's just like, I guess, uh, he's Wiz, you know, he's a wizard, he's an old wizard that is from a comic book that has his own, like, you know, uh, story and, like, okay. Ray really likes him. Uh, he's got all his, like, t-shirts, his posters, he's everywhere. Um, and yeah, I, th I mean, that's what Rahul, Nair and I discussed. The trailer of uh, The Eternally Confused has been receiving a lot of comments from young people that this is my story because, you know, we are, all of us are eternally confused. And also there are a lot of rules around dating now, you know, like uh, uh, in the uh, trailer also, uh, this uh, Varun is telling you that, you know, you should wait for 20 minutes before you text this yeah. girl back. So uh, do you follow these rules in uh, real life as well? <laughs> no, but I definitely have friends who have that exact same rule and they live life by it. They're like, you know, you always have to wait, make them wait at least twice as much. One person was like, make them wait four days. <laughs> How can you make away four days for a text? I've never understood that. Uh, I, I am not making this up. I have friends who have these bizarre rules. This one guy I know, he his strategy for flirting at a bar or club or when he meets a girl for the first time is to just say he loves her. And then that way, like he's he's so like apparently if you if you go go in really hard, they fall for you because you're so confident. And he says it works very well. <laughs> for him, uh, so Does yeah, it I mean, really works for him though. If it works for him, then it's great. I, he says it does. I don't think it does. <laughs> I think he's just messing up. Uh, but it's Ray is very relatable. The characters like Varun are very relatable. I think there's a lot of stuff that you know young people uh, say and think nowadays that is just bizarre. And I'm glad that there's a, finally a show <laughs> that documents all this. So, so Chitra and Rahul, uh, you worked together in Pyargi Side Effects 15 years ago and uh, it was very fun watching you to bicker and now you are playing uh, your husband and wife and you know fans have been dropping comments where they said that they can't digest you as a parent only. So what do you have to say about that? 
who they can't digest Rahul as a parent uh, because I am a real I am a parent in real life anyway and I have played multiple uh, roles where I've played a parent so it's probably Rahul uh, that they're talking about. about he's not, still dealing with it as yeah, you can he's see. still dealing with it. He's still processing that but he's shot us, this show. But for us at least you know doing the project the fact that we have worked before he's directed me before in his movie everybody says I'm fine and yeah, we yeah. of course as you said worked together in um, PRK Side Effects. And uh, again, that was a hate-hate a, a relationship. He called me Dracula in that one. Uh, he yeah. treated me. He treated me like I was Dracula on this one. But uh, you know, but uh, it it was very easy. I mean, it always has been. It's been easy working with Rahul. We have a we have a kind of a, a rapport and a connection which makes it. You know, we know how to get each other in a scene. Uh, there was never any ego. There was never any. No, no. I think you should do this, and I think you should do that. Never, never that. We respect each other's uh, way of working, and it worked smoothly. No, no. There's no mutual respect. She doesn't respect me at all. Rubbish. At all. At all. At all. At all. Um, but um, Malika Shirawat's best friend, who was the Dracula in PRK Dracula. Side Effects, and I, after that, am now playing her husband. Um, same, still troublesome, still troubles me a lot. Uh, she eats a lot of food, uh, and I, I'm not that rich, so I don't have that much food. In fact, every four days I send an SMS because I can't afford to send one before that. Oh, good. So okay. that's yeah. I, I go by the four-day rule yeah, of sending SMSs. But otherwise, yeah, it's been um, it's been fun. She's 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 really she's wonderful. <laughs> she's a bit old, but she's wonderful. <laughs> so, Vihan, I don't know if you have noticed this, but a lot of people have been calling you Indian Ross. Yeah. So, how do you feel about Indian this comparison? Indian Ross. Uh, it is what it is at this point. I never thought I would uh, be in this position in my life. But things around me have happened, and I have no control over them. So, rather than fighting them, I will accept them. And uh, that will also pass. When I turn 26, it's a new chapter for me. He's changing his name to Roshan. Hamara beta, hamara naam Roshan karega. I mean, there's a there's a bunch of good parts about it as well. I mean, it's a Ross is a very relatable, hopeless in love, like you know, funny kind of guy, which is great for Ray. I mean, it's similar vibes. Um, very like enduring leading man, but also like has three divorces. You know, like it's it, yeah. there is a vibe to it. I I mean, I dig it. But after a certain point, uh, I'm Vihan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, so Chitra, you have previously said uh, that you want to explore the comedy genre and you like the films that have a dash of comedy. So, did Eternally Confused do that for you? Most definitely, most definitely. Uh, you know, and very subtle comedy, but uh, it's not uh, slapstick or whatever, which I've also done before in, you know, other comedy shows, etc. But uh, this is, uh, it's all in the writing. Yeah, and when you're right, the writing is really good, you know, less has to be said, less has to be done and the comedy can come out uh, really, really well. And I think the three of us have that uh, energy in a lot of our scenes, you know, where we don't have to make big gestures or don't make big eyes. It's just in the way dialogues were delivered and that's, that's really turned out well. And I, yes, I'm very, very happy to have gotten to do, um, uh, you know, comedy in this. So, uh, Rahul, <laughs> this series is about a 24-year-old trying to love and there's this scene where Suchitra Pillai's character is telling him that, you know, uh, you're uh, going to be 25 and uh, you should have someone in your life. Now, I was uh, watching this old interview of yours where you were saying that you haven't been in a relationship for 10 years and, uh, you know, you don't feel the need of a romantic love. So, has that changed in any way since then? Um, I have had five very long relationships in my life. Okay. The last one finished seven years ago. Okay. But before that, I've had five really long relationships between three, four, five years. So I've been, I've had a life full of romantic love. Um, would I like another relationship or five or ten? Of course. I mean, love is, I mean, the Beatles said it best. I mean, all you need is love. So, uh, yeah, I, I would love to be in love. It would be fantastic. But it would have to be, you know, th there are some things that are non-negotiable for me in love, which is the ability to laugh at ourselves, to laugh together, you know, just to, just to be in a space and be comfortable. And yeah, that's it, you know, just that kindness to be kind to each other and to ourselves. Love has to be laughter and kindness. 
that's enough. The rest of the fancy meals and all that doesn't really matter, at least not to me. So yeah, I w it would be great. I mean, do I miss it? Of course not. Would I love it? Of course, yes. You know. So uh, Vihan, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I saw this mismatched interview where your co-stars referred to you as a method actor. So uh, in mismatched, your character was much closer to you in real life. He had returned from America. He was this young, cool boy. But uh, you know, uh, eternally uh, is about uh, this awkward, socially awkward uh, man who is trying to find love. So uh, how did you prepare for this role? Um, <clears throat> so I, I think um, in mismatched, Harsh was an NRI uh, who lived in America, grew up in America, and came back briefly uh, for a certain thing. So I actually went to college for five years, and then I came back um, uh, as Vihan. And therefore, I feel that Ray is actually closer to who I am in terms of my upbringing, because Ray as well grew up in India and went abroad to study and came back, and I was looking for love. So I feel like I was way closer to Ray. In fact, Harsh had, I had to tap into like a whole American thing going and build up where he's from. Maybe he's from California, what part, what city, this, that, the accent, everything. Even the, even the rings and the, and the, and the you know, all the, the way I dressed. Uh, so Ray for me actually hit a bit more closer to home. Uh, I, in preparation, I just had to figure out like what makes the guy tick, why is he so awkward, what are the moments in my life that I can relate to that uh, maybe made me feel a certain way. So I, I just went through all of that uh, to find that essence. But in terms of just the way I spoke and you know, um, what, what kind of life I had it was quite similar, I think. Okay, so uh, there's also the scene in Eternally Confused that you get a drink thrown at your face for asking. <laughs> A very weird question. So it reminded me of a scene in Mismatch also, where you watch in shock as Dimple throws a coffee on Rishi's face. So has that happened to you also in real life? No, thank God. <laughs> because you don't follow these rules. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm too uh, shy to even go to the extent of asking those questions. I just be like, what's wrong with you? Don't say that. Okay. Yeah, I just sit at, I just sit at the table and be happy. So you seem like a very fun group, and uh, <laughs> how was the <laughs> how was the dynamic behind the scenes? Is there some anecdote where you know you just burst out laughing during uh, while shooting? He didn't remember any of his lines. <laughs> 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 you would just make it up as we're going along. Yeah. And so we were not very friendly off the set. <laughs> he just told you I couldn't remember my lines. <laughs> no, it's like, no, we, 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 he'd make up like something that occurred to him like halfway through like the fourth take and then we just do, do that and then we improv on that. And cancel, there was cancel, one cancel. point on the, like, the fifth take he wasn't like, he, he went through this whole speech of like, you know, yeah. when uh, it was your mother and yeah. like, uh, I thought she was right for me and then she said, no, I'm right for your friend. That's what I'm trying to say is be your own diaper. Uh, take whatever and then it, he, it always came to the last line and the last line was the one that was the problem so he'd go through each paragraph every single time and then by the seventh take like the entire crew knew it so he's like, <laughs> he's like what's the goddamn line and all the time <laughs> be your <laughs> own diaper <laughs> it's all about what you don't say and you're like ah yes thank you thank you crew thank you 100 people yeah. um, but we did have there were many thing. many many fun moments uh, you know where we just literally couldn't stop laughing. It was good fun shooting this show. No doubt. <laughs> you told me the story about the I did watch light the man. diaper scene and I could I just couldn't understand. Be your own diaper. What does that mean, Rahul? <laughs> what it means is that a diaper holds all the shit that a baby takes out. So he's telling his son, if shit comes out of your brain, oh, no. don't let it come out of your mouth. Be your own diaper, hold the shit in your brain because your brain is only full of shit. Oh, hold no. the shit in your brain yeah. and don't <laughs> let it come out because if it comes out, the girl will run away. So it's actually great advice. Mm. Be your own diaper. Keep, before you say anything stupid, stop yourself. Yeah. If there is going to be a season two of Eternally Confused. We're all hoping there's going to be a season two. No, there is a season two. I don't know oh, what you guys are yeah. talking about. Where uh, Ray gets uh, hit by a bus and dies in the yeah. first episode. Yeah. And, and he then, can finally play Ray. He, <laughs> yeah, and then he plays Ray. He comes back as, yeah. 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 And I play Ray. <laughs> no, that's not, that's not season two, but uh, there's definitely hope for season two. And I play Ray the story and Suchita becomes my mother. Yeah. Oh, no. Who was my wife in the previous season. And he is reincarnated. Yeah. Yeah, as, as his voice, <laughs> I become Wiz. You become Wiz. Yeah, so there's the, all sorts of 
their you know ideas we don't but know. let's the, 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 the serious answer we hope we hope we don't know there's a, if there's a season 2 or not yeah. it all depends on how it does right yeah. yeah okay thank you so much it was really fun talking to you